well. I hope that this reading finds you safe. All right. So shout out to my Soul Tribe members that are out there. I appreciate the love and support. Also, if you are new here and you've been resonating with the channel, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share. Also hit the post notification bell before you leave. Definitely appreciate the energy exchange. All right, so Taurus, I don't know why your cards are acting all weird, but we're going to see what we can get for you guys. Sacred sight, purpose. All right. A spiritual experience will change your point of view. An answer comes to you. Trust your intuition. A new venture beckons. Consider your options carefully. Seek adventure. Go travel. Embrace your life to the fullest. Visit a favorite space. Or place. <laughs> I said space. So, I'm feeling like... Taurus, you really need to get out, okay? And also, I'm kind of like feeling like because we had Wes purge down underneath here, there might be some things that you need to sort through, okay? But let's see. Taurus, I am open for personal, so if you are interested in scheduling a personal or booking a personal with me, go ahead and check out the description box. I left information on how to do so. For any of my fellow Instagrammers, okay, I do have an Instagram page, so you guys go ahead and check out my Instagram. The link is also below in the description box. And for the first hundred of people that follow me, I will give you a follow back, okay? All right, so let's see what's going on, Taurus. Six of Swords. Yeah. It's like, what I'm feeling is there's been a lot of things going on around you, and I heard escape. So it's almost like you need to go to the sacred site to escape whatever trials that have been surrounding you. Probably a lot of fighting, um, a lot of chaos that's been going on. There might be a place that you like to go to, and you haven't been there in a while so this might be a good time to travel towards that place just to get your mind clear so that you can see clearly where you need to go your purpose and clear your mind is what I'm feeling so Taurus we got the world card five of this star the star The moon, the hermit, the sun, and three of this. <laughs> I heard the sun, the moon, and the stars. <laughs> you have everything. Look at this. Sun, moon, and stars. Are you kidding me? So basically once you take this break and you go to the sacred place you're going to start to see things come together for you i don't know exactly what chaos has been around you but i feel like that chaos has been around you purposely to distract you from what it is that you need to do so coming back there's a cycle that is starting for you okay this cycle is going to require you to leave some things behind the five of this and possibly when you leave things behind that's going to cause a lot of people to feel like they've been left out okay and a lot of times when people feel left out they get very angry and upset so not only are they already probably angry and upset type people they're probably going to start to kind of put their anger out towards you and I think the universe knows that and they're trying to protect you because the world card also is like protection in this cycle right but you have a purpose. You have a destiny to fulfill. Also, there's a lot of healing because the star card is also the healing card. So there's a lot of healing that needs to take place for you to see clearly. 
there might have been a lot of secrets that were going on or illusions that were going on with the moon but also this full moon that's coming up in Capricorn is going to be very important for you okay so take those energies of the the full moon and use them to your advantage okay now we got the hermit card so it's like once you go on this journey you're you might end up having to go alone don't be afraid because the hermit also means there's going to be a lot of wisdom that you're going to gain and a lot of knowledge that you're going to gain virgo energy you might have it in your chart and once you come back out of going into hermit mode going into you know to yourself in solitude you're going to feel happy again you're going to feel enlightened you're going to feel lighter you're going to feel like childlike again and that's going to make it easier for you to work with others with the three of this so right now you probably feel like you don't want to work with people you probably feel like you don't trust people you probably just want to just run away but as you go through this transition it's going to be easier for you and then those connections will last longer what's the world card Ooh. The card flew all the way over there now we got the queen of swords the prince of cups reverse the two of cups reverse and the three of wands okay so now this is breaking down to me what happened in this past cycle there possibly was a third party situation that was going on and it included a soulmate of yours it included possibly some friends but what i'm feeling is you no longer want to accept these people these soulmates and you no longer want to accept any type of apology that they might have for mishandling or not taking the connection very seriously i feel like they pretty much just took advantage of what it was that they had with you when they were with you and now you're deciding to wait on something better with the three of wands huh. three three that's what i just heard okay I feel like if they do approach you you're going to be in the queen of swords energy so that's someone that will let you know how they truly feel and they're not afraid to speak their their mind what's under here yeah you didn't want to keep on dealing with people that want to breadcrumb you or people that don't want to give you what you deserve the six of this see they always came with little measly things or just something to just get your attention it wasn't ever nothing really stable that's what i'm feeling look at this and then the princess of this right here yeah okay so you're leaving that situation of being breadcrumbs and not being valued and it's also making some people feel like they're being left out because now they can't harvest your energy anymore what's the five of this which is good because they don't need to oh yeah car fell on the floor fool's journey you're going on the fool's journey you're taking a leap out on faith you're doing the uh, what the i just heard i just heard the uh, impossible <laughs> king of cups reverse all right hold on y'all let me get the other card and the two of swords so what i'm feeling right here is energies of people that don't know how to show love you're no longer looking towards that to give you any type of fulfillment or any type of you understand it it's like you understand that they're not balancing their own emotions they don't have love for themselves so there's no reason to continue to look towards them to give you any type of love when they don't love themselves so you're willing to take this fool's journey take a leap out on of faith and pursue what you want look yeah the chariot card going forward forward movement that's awesome someone wants to try to hold you back with the devil card they want to keep you bound they want to keep you restricted this is capricorn energy 
but there's judgment here. <laughs> as soon as somebody tries to hold you back, judgment is caught on them. So it's going to be like you have to be released. They can't hold you bound as long as you keep yourself free, as long as you know that you're the star. What's the star card? Oh my goodness. I don't know why the card's flying all the way over there. Okay, so now we got the Hierophant. The Eight of Wands. The King of Swords. Seven of Wands and the Eight of Discs. Ooh, okay. So, Taurus, what I'm feeling is as you're going towards your purpose, your destiny, you have someone who wants to communicate with you. They're actually willing to go the distance. This person is the King of Swords. So, they speak the truth. They make sure that things are clear and you understand what the, how they feel and what their intentions are right this person actually is willing to protect the connection that they can build with you and this person is also willing to put in the work so it's up to you to decide to deal with them but with the moon card here i don't feel like you're really looking at that Possibly this is something that's hidden from you, something that you don't see coming. This is your card right here, the Hierophant. And also I'm feeling like this person wants to have a commitment with you. What's under here? The Ten of Wands. So I feel like you're going to kind of feel like it might be a heavy task to deal with this person or you might feel like it be, might be a lot of work, but, I, but they have the Eight of Discs, so they're willing to put in that work with you. I don't know what you got going on, but it must be a lot on your plate. And that must be why you feel like, you know, maybe you don't want to deal with someone. But even if you do, then it can happen for you. Don't waddle in this mess, the five of cups, because I feel like that's what the past wants you to do. They want you to wallow in the mess and not go after your wish. Yeah, the past does. Look, the six of cups underneath here. They want you to be in regret like they are because they're in regret. Look nine of swords their regret worry staying up sleepless nights depression stuff like that stress what's the moon card the fool again oh the divine look this is the ace of swords the divine wants you to take this leap of faith with this person and trust and believe that it's going to be safe for you. Possibly you might be, I just seen 13.55 on the clock. Possibly this actually might be a dream come true. This might be something that you might dream about to give you confirmation of this reading. What's under here? Yeah, go forward with it. The cherry cart showing up again. Go forward with it. Ooh, you got the magician right here too. So it's really time to manifest things. It's really time to manifest what you desire and what you want because everything is laid out for you. What's this hermit card? Ooh, oh, I got to go all the way over there to get the card. <laughs> Look, your new beginning, Ace of Wands. So now we got the Four of Cups. So what I'm feeling is... I don't know who all was in your past that you are going to have to end up moving away from, but they're going to feel like you're rejecting their offer. They're going to feel like it's not fair. That's what I just heard. It's not fair because you're deciding to do the work on yourself and get the wisdom and grow, go towards your purpose with your partner. What? Yeah, you're holding back. You're holding back and you're just keeping energies within your relationship dynamic, okay? Ooh, this person is an emperor. So whoever it is that's coming towards you, this king of swords, they're an emperor. So they know how to build up an empire. They know how to maintain an empire. This person also has dealt with the five of swords energy people. 
talking bad about them, lying, trying to be sneaky, but they still have confidence within themselves, the king of, of wands. So they can definitely bring a lot of happiness into your life, but you gotta make sure that you're happy within yourself first. What's the sun card? Ooh. Wow, the full card keeps coming out. It's To me, I'm feeling like the reason why the full card keeps showing is because this is probably something that you have never done before, so it's it feels very unfamiliar. It's like unfamiliar territory. What's this? Ah, the King of Wands reverse. You've been used to dealing with insecure people. That's why. People that have doubted you. People that have talked down about what your purpose is. And the reason why they do that is because they don't hold any... Excuse me. Yeah, belch. They just spill out a lot of spew lies. They, they don't hold any purpose within themselves. They don't have any confidence within themselves. They're very, you know... They believe other people are like them. But you're getting someone that's going to be the total opposite of them. And you got to believe that. This person wants to work with you. Three of this. They're willing to help you build your um, part of your purpose. You know what I'm saying? They're willing to help you with your purpose is what I'm feeling. What's the three of this? Ooh. The four of this. This is moving up moving on up from the three to the four okay yeah this emperor is going to definitely be there to help with this situation yeah i feel like they know that they're you're still trying to build yourself up financially but that self-love is going to be very important the ace of cups the self-love is going to be very important in this situation but what I would say is continue to go forth in your purpose. You're going to run into whoever this person is. You're going to be able to tell who they are because they got their own stuff popping, okay? They got their own stuff going. And it's going to be easy to identify that they are very confident within themselves, too. And they're going to be willing to help you work on your purpose also. So just as long as you're working on you, you're going to attract that. That which is of yourself is what I just heard. Okay. So let's get you a gem, Taurus. So the light number 22. Okay, so this is the root chakra card. I mean, root chakra. And then there's the yoga right there. This is earth and Capricorn. The message that it gives, following a period of growth and transformation, we find ourselves at a critical moment where our life is finally as we had imagined it. We live indulging our true nature in an idealistic way and according to our conscience. Each moment is intense and we are profoundly anchored to our present. Daily life, therefore, takes on a much broader dimension. Sodalite helps in situations of stress and anxiety. It reinforces a sense of identity and bestows optimism towards life and openness towards new situations. Yeah, you definitely need this because you got to be open to receiving this new connection and just trusting in yourself, you know, building that confidence within yourself so that you can attract what you want what you desire okay so that is what i have for you taurus i hope that this helped if it did please don't forget to like comment subscribe hit the subscribe button right here share hit the post notification bell and i will talk to you guys later deuces